People's attention spans in the past four years have declined more than ever. And this is mainly due to the fact that our entertainment has become quick and stimulating with platforms such as TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels. And I'm not gonna tell you to completely eliminate that, but in this video, I'm gonna tell you six ways to increase your attention span. If you can't watch the whole video, then you're probably exactly who this video is for. Starting with number one, journaling. We often keep our thoughts, our struggles in our mind, which can lead to us overthinking, lead to mental clutter. So then we automatically grab our phones to distract ourselves. And the simple act of writing, journaling, might seem very useless. I mean, you've been doing it since you learned how to write in school, elementary, high school, with work. But when you journal, it's different. You're sitting down, writing down your thoughts on a piece of paper. This allows you to get rid of that mental clutter, really understand your own thoughts, because now you're writing them down on a piece of paper and seeing them in front of you. And because you're doing a task that requires you to sit down and focus on exactly what you're doing, overall, it improves your focus and your attention span. Now, I simply recommend that you start with a five to 10 minute journaling session every morning. And you can either grab a blank page and just write down your thoughts as they are or you can get a journal like this one by finisher secret the benefits of having a journal like this is that it gives you prompts so you read the prompt and you write down three answers for that prompt it offers a schedule just so you can write your tasks every morning and there's also a blank section as well if you just want to write down whatever it is on your mind so having a journal like this will incentivize you to write every day because it has pages for every day of the week it has a goal setting plan it had prompts it has blank pages and it also looks pretty cool i've personally been enjoying journaling a lot and that's why i partnered up with finisher secret to offer you guys a 15% off promo code with my code Pierre. You can head over to finishersecrets.com slash Pierre or click the link in my description down below. The second thing you can do to increase your attention span is to watch podcasts or movies when it comes to entertainment as opposed to scrolling on TikTok or short form platforms. This is because when you're scrolling on these short form platforms, yes, it's very entertaining, but it's also very stimulating. I mean, you're watching 15 seconds, 30 second videos back to back, giving you that dopamine, giving you that entertainment, but you're never really focused focusing on one topic for a long duration of time. And your brain is like a computer. You program it with the actions that you do. So if you're always used to quick, short entertainment video, then your brain will find it hard to focus on things that require longer and more attention. And so opting out to watching movies and podcasts instead of always watching short form videos on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube requires and also programs your brain to focus on something for a longer period of time. And this doesn't have to be boring. I mean, pick podcasts or movies that you're interested in. I personally watch a lot of podcasts on debates, creator economy, because those are things that I am interested in, as well as picking movies that are based on a true story, because those are things that I find entertaining. Number three is doing steady state activities. If you don't know what a steady state activity is, it's where you're doing the same activity for a long duration of time. So this, for example, can be running, cycling, playing chess, swimming, hiking. Now the first benefit of this is that it will improve your physical health because now you're building the habit of doing more physical exercise for a longer period of time. And this can be something as low intense as a walk. And you might think like, oh my God, how hard can that really be going on a walk, going for a little run? You would be surprised. I mean, when I go to the gym and I look around, there's a lot of people in between sets that have to grab their phone and scroll on TikTok. They can't do a one hour workout without grabbing their phone and stimulating themselves. Now, when you're doing a steady state activity, such as running, cycling, swimming, your body is working to do this task. So you really can't focus on anything else but what it is you're doing. So if you're running, you're focusing on your breathing, your pace, your destination, and this trains your brain to be able to concentrate on a certain task for a longer period of time, which in turn will increase your focus and your attention span. Number four, limit stimulation and learn to enjoy minimal things. This world is full of stimulation from your phone to when you leave your house seeing ads all over the place to the music in your ear to the explicit content you can get access to whenever you want. And if you're constantly overstimulating your brain, this becomes your brain's new norm. And so the second that you have zero stimulation, you need something to distract you. You need something to give you dopamine. So there's two ways to limit stimulation. You can either do a dopamine detox, which is completely eliminating every source of stimulation that you have. And you do that for about a week or two, or you delete all your social medias, you replace your habits with things that are very simple, such as reading or writing to essentially reset your brain, reset your focus. Now I suggest that you do a dopamine detox if you really find that your attention span is becoming an issue and you're really addicted to all these sources giving you simulation. But if it's something that you find is not completely a big issue, but it's something you wanna work on, then just focus on limiting the stimulation sources. So instead of always watching entertainment on a screen, maybe grab a book that you like and read it. Do minimal activities like going for a hike and finding the enjoyment in nature as opposed to your phone and the screen. And because you're always overwhelmed, by learning to enjoy minimalistic activities, you're distracting yourself less, making yourself focus more on important tasks, like maybe cleaning your room. And by doing that consistently for a longer period, 
period of time, it will increase your focus and your attention span. Number five, set a screen time limit. This is pretty simple. Look at the app that you use the most. For example, TikTok. If you see that's four hours every single day, no matter what phone you have, you can go into settings and set a screen time limit for that app. And you can set it to around an hour, for example. This way in your day, as soon as you pass an hour, you'll get a notification and it won't let you log back into that app for the rest of the day. So then you'll be forced to do something else that's more productive for you. And finally, number six is meditation. If you want to build your biceps, if you want to get bigger biceps, if you want to get a bigger chest, what do you do? You go to the gym and you work out those muscle groups consistently. Now, if you find that your attention span is something that you struggle with, what do you do? You essentially got to work out your brain and you do that by meditating. Meditating is one of the best exercises you can do for your brain to increase your focus and your attention span. The whole idea of meditation is that you simply sit there with your eyes closed, focusing on your breathing. Now, naturally, your mind will wander off to any passing thoughts that come. Now, when that happens, you simply acknowledge the thought, but bring the attention back to your breath. And by doing that repeatedly, you learn to have more control over your thoughts rather than your thoughts having more control over you, which will make you feel more present and make you feel more focused on any task that you're doing. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it to the end, congratulations. You have a pretty good attention span, but make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.